Hey everyone, I was down in Florida at the Seminole Hard Rock a few weeks ago doing commentary with Tony Dunst on a couple WPT final tables and this hand came up, it really stuck in my head because I think it's going to illustrate a really important tournament concept for you guys pretty well. So let's take a look at the hand. Damn, we're almost out of here. One card away, now rejuvenated. Looks a little visibly more excited yeah, about this yeah, final table more now. <laughs> Robert with the button and a7 offsuit is going to come in for a raise. Dropping it. Again, wouldn't have been a bad spot to go after him. All right, let's take a look at this spot in more detail. So this is a WPT final table. Obviously, there are big pay jumps. There are four players left. The blinds are 75 and 150,000 with a 25K ante. Looking at stacks around the table, Dan has about 27 and a half big blinds, Robert about 35 big blinds, Tony about 84, and Daryl around 77 big blinds. So we have two stacks a little bit deeper and two medium stacks at this final table. And we'll be playing this hand from the perspective of Daryl in the big blind. So the action of the hand was Dan folded, Robert came in for a raise to 350,000, or almost two and a half big blinds. Tony folds the small blind, and action's now on us in the big blind. So before we talk about our actual hand, let's talk about this situation. The button came in for a raise, that's going to represent a fairly wide range of hands. Small blind folded, 